All this week we're reporting on the Langford Group's trip to Haiti and its plan to make a difference in the lives of 40 Haitian children, orphans. The group is working on a project to rebuild their orphanage that was destroyed in the January earthquake. A News reporter Stephen Andrew and videographer Brendan Strain traveled with the Langford team uh, last week and tonight they introduce us to the driving force behind the rebuild project. An RCMP officer stationed in Haiti who is a woman with boundless energy. Watching Christine Bryan dote on these orphans, it's easy to believe she has, in her heart at least, adopted every single one. It's a love affair that began in October 2009 on the RCMP Corporal's second deployment to Haiti. My first thought when I was there is like, I want to take all those kids home. <laughs> they were so, they, were, they see you coming and they just, they just, boom, they, they smile, they just, it was fun. Brian is the latest in a line of RCMP officers from A Division in Ottawa, who in 2006 began looking after the children, raising money to pay for their food and the teacher who provides daily lessons. That money would be a small drop in the bucket after the January earthquake hit Haiti. Ryan and the entire United Nations police force suddenly found themselves in the center of chaos. You just want to do everything, try to help out everybody. I just remember somebody giving me, actually handing me over a dead, a dead baby. And she was, the lady was screaming at me and I, I looked at her and like, this, I'm like, what do you want me to do? I, I, it just, you feel useless. You're like, geez, I should have all the tool. I'm trained, I'm a police officer. I should be able to do these things, but there's nothing you can do. As Bryant made her way through the rubble, she worried what happened to her children. Then, a call from one of the older orphans. He says, Christine, can you hear me? And I said, are you alive? <laughs> he said, yes. I said, how are the kids? How are the sisters? And uh, he says, everybody's fine, everybody's well. We're all safe, but we don't have much of an orphanage anymore. Eight days after the quake, Brian finally saw for herself how bad things were. My heart sunk. They barely have anything to begin with. They're surviving, and now they got nothing. The only security they had was a roof over their head, and now they don't have it. And literally, they had nothing. They were sleeping on the ground. No tarps, no tent, no sheets, nothing, just down on the ground. They had banana leaves for the few little babies and stuff like that to try to keep the, uh, the spiders and the scorpions away and snakes, they were explaining to me. I was just devastated. I'm like, okay, this is enough. Brian's mission took on a new sense of urgency. She sent photographs of the orphans to encourage aid organizations to help the children. And somehow, those pictures made their way to Fire Chief Bob Beckett, who, together with Langford's mayor, was looking for a humanitarian mission in Haiti. And it wasn't just the pictures. It was the, the emails um, and her pictures, um, her um, smiling, holding the children you know, identifying that they desperately need to have their orphanage rebuilt. We are so pleased to hear that your community is, is interested and prepared to help. How can I help you make this, this work? At first I was like, is this happening for real? And, it, and I like the way it's happening because it shows to us and it shows to the, the people that we're doing this for that we really want to do something. That the fact that Bob says, we're coming in, we're coming in March, I'm like, huh, what? So uh, when I first uh, heard of that, I thought, well, that's good. I'll do the, the beginning, but I'll never see the end of this project. But now, having all of them here, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I'm actually probably going to see something of this. Days later, Beckett is touring the orphanage with a team from Langford planning to rebuild the destroyed structure. Bryant is realistic. She knows as the Langford team checks out the property lines, inspects the building, and tries to figure out exactly how to rebuild the orphanage, there will be challenges. And with time running out before the Langford team returns home to Vancouver Island, there are questions if those challenges can be overcome. Well, that's, uh, that's the, yeah. the RCMP officer says no matter what happens, she will continue to care for the orphans long after she returns to Canada. In Port-au-Prince, Haiti, Stephen Andrew, A News. Tomorrow, Stephen shows us how the dream of rebuilding the orphanage is becoming a reality.